going on to the set, we got player four versus Baby Cakes. We we're talking about how player four plays a pretty reserved um, Daisy compared to what we're used to seeing Samsora, as aggressive a player as Samsora is. But Baby Cakes seeming to be just as passive with these run up shields into rollback. I like the option that Baby Cakes is using instead to uh, try to catch player four's jump using the dash attack. The, uh, oh, oh wow. my good, amazing option coverage. You saw he threw out the back air in case player four was going to end up being behind him, and then he threw up the up air just in case player four was going to DI away from him. Mm -hmm. And even though, of course, DK's grab combos aren't quite as potent or his grab kill confirms aren't quite as potent as they were in the previous game, he still has a ton of ways to be able to put you in the air and kill you that way. And now Baby Cakes moving forward with his DK. Pretty much a clean stock lead coming out for him. And this is the reserve place I was talking about. Opting to go for a dash back grab. Yeah. Getting that out of shield Nair. That Nair being so incredible. And it's nice to know actually that Peach and uh, Peach and Daisy particularly, when they do their short hop float, um, it does register as a full hop damage output. So yeah. very, very nice to know that, especially since uh, Peach and Daisy actually can rack up damage so easily off of just one down set. And oh my, yeeting this man into the blast zone, but he's not out yet. Player four keeping his cool using the Daisy Bomber said to come back into the stage. Excellent awareness so far from Baby Cakes, just know, knowing the sort of range that Player 4 is going to try to fare him or side B and just uh, keeping outside that general range, making use of that platform in the center of Smashville. Just keeping pinned in the corner, realizing there's moments where he doesn't have the advantage anymore, backing off and trying to maintain center. I like that dash grab right there from player four, recognizing that Baby Cakes was going to be holding shield by the ledge. Oh, Baby uh, Baby Cakes at oh, 142. It's going to be a little hard right here for player four to climb this mountain as he has two more stocks to deal with. And you know that Baby Cakes is going to look, try to look for that neutral B. Giant punch is so, so powerful from DK, but losing that stock before he gets the chance. Dot eyes coming out that does over 20% in this game. It's kind of nuts. 27! Oh, yeah, 27. There you go, Viram, just as you were mentioning. That's why you saw Pillar 4 actually re grab the dot face, the dot eyes. Great air dodge back into the stage, recognizing that Baby Cakes is so back here happy, and I don't blame him, especially since DK is back here so incredibly fast. Such a good move. The fact that you could do two in a short hop as oh, well. Yeah. Such, an, such a potent thing for such a big, powerful character. Mm -hmm. Coming out, player four contesting Baby Cakes with the fall down fair. Now this is the position where Baby Cakes wants to keep, no, player four wants to keep Baby Cakes in the corner. DK still does have a bit of a hard time getting out of the corner, dealing with that pressure. He does have to be careful though of that new side B coming out from DK, having the super armor allowing him to, giving him access to another option off the ledge. Yeah, forcibly having to recover from down below the ledge, but you saw Baby Cakes was actually going to try to contest with a backer of his own, and, and since he can, of course, he is a stock ahead, he really has not much to lose, only with this back throw, he, DK is a heavy boy, so that's not going to be it. Using that pack here, actually, to take care of that turn up. Excellent up B right there. Using that, of course, the super armor frames at the start would have been able to brute force through player 4's offensive attempt, but simply working well to cool out the rollback as well. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, great awareness coming from Baby Cakes, uh, catching player four and containing it. He, he lasted for quite some time, both with his uh, first stock and second stock. So it was a little challenging for player four to try to close in that gap as he was unable to take the stocks at necessary times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be difficult to get those KOs versus a huge, powerful character like DK. He is, of course, third heaviest character in the game, joined with DDD in this game. After, of course, K. Rule and Bowser, only characters who are heavier. Moving forward to town and city this time. We don't see any type of character changes. No, sticking with the Daisy and sticking with the Donkey Kong. Daisy, Daisy just looks so weird to me in this game. She kind of looks like a bug. <laughs> this is the big eyes combination with her bangs in the front. She's adorable. <laughs> you look so insulted. You're like, how could you? All right, starting off, charging up the punch. Baby Cakes is going to be able to use these platforms to his advantage to just const constantly pressure uh, player four with these uppers. Like you see him throwing them out right here. He dealt a good amount of damage and actually taking the first stock of the first game simply by using that. 
Although I do understand kind of some of the reasoning behind this pick for player four. You know, a lot of what DK was doing was using that center platform to try to recover back to the stage and get around player four's uh, edge trapping attempts. But removing that from the picture potentially allows him to oppress the corner a lot better. Yeah, and extend on her combos too, because, you know, Daisy and Peach being very combo-heavy characters at racking up that damage and player four not holding forward right there, not trying to contest baby cakes by that platform, and oh my goodness. That was a really good jump, and the stitch is here, and it misses oh, as well. Oh, quite unfortunate. It did get that bounce going, but uh, the bounce kind of cutting it short, not allowing it to get hit, or uh, baby cakes not allowing it to get hit by him. Immaculate space with that forward air. Pretty even oh. game. Very difficult to punish that side B. Daisy is a little bit harder to react to than Peaches just because of the nature of the audio cue as well. Yeah, and I believe oh, one of the key differences between the two um, is Daisy's character model in general and her idle animation. And oh my, jumping! Oh, and getting the time there too! <laughs> we a little cheeky out here, but uh, getting that fair right up of DK. Threading the needle around that giant punch as well. I was convinced that that was... Baby Cake's kill, but apparently not. Yeah, well, someone's gonna die here. <laughs> and Player 4 made sure it wasn't him. Now finally, Player 4 with the first real lead that he's had in this set so far. More than happy to play this, a lot more patient now. I like the attempt there coming from Baby Cakes with the dash back and forth, uh, trying to expect Player 4 to go in for a jump, since, of course, Daisy and Peach, they do like to jump a lot, and uh, fortunately, with that dash attack whiffing, it does allow him to uh, close in that space against Player 4 and take that stock. Have a double up air. Definitely a worthwhile trade for Baby Cakes. More than happy to take that damage. It means closing this gap. Very, very nice coming out from player four. Just preventing Baby Cakes from really getting anything on stage happening. Try to call out with a Toad. Yeah, actually not using Toad enough, I would say. That probably is the first time I see a player four using Toad um, by the ledge. Probably expecting Baby Cakes to land with an aggressive option. See these fade back fairs. Player four playing extremely safe. Rather drift back and try to close out the stock before uh, doing anything too rash. Getting that turn up snipe. Yep. So good versus DK off stage. Easy damage. Recovery is just that kind of linear up B, but taking that stock with Daisy Bomber. Oh my, I was expecting a back air actually right there. Mm -hmm. Especially by the platform as it was uh, fading out. Oh, and here here's a down tilt. Here's a down tilt confirmed. 50 for 67%. All right. Getting that down throw into back air. I like how player four ends up just whiffing back and forth around baby cakes so that way uh, they don't overextend at the same time. And welcome back everybody, by the way. We are back online once again. This is halfway through this set. But uh, this has been a locally recorded set, so you will be able to see it on VGBC at a later stage. Yes, absolutely, you guys. You guys can check it out on YouTube. Of course, this is the only set that we've been uh, streaming or locally recording so far. You got Baby Kicks with the grab, eating Player 4 into the Blast Zone once again, and actually taking the stock this time. 159% on Baby Kicks, so very, very difficult with the sort of kill moves that Player 4 has at his disposal with Daisy. Like that for there. Enough to take game two. Evening up, 1-1. One, one. I really like how in, in that game particularly, the difference between player four and how he played in a game one and game two is in game two, when he had the lead, he made sure to extend that lead in a way where he continuously kept dashing back, waited to see what Baby Cakes was going to do instead. And every time Baby Cakes pressed a button, player four was there to punish him for it. Playing extremely patient when Baby Cakes had with, I believe, a dash attack, um, player four was right there with the Daisy Bomber to clip him for it and actually took his second stop for it. That he did. And I think the extra space of Talon really helped him in that regard. But this time we are actually going to Lilac Cruise, a stage that, uh, of course, seen his fair share of controversy, but it is legal here at Genesis 6. Yeah, I, you know, I, I actually am not too big of a fan with the stage, but with hazards off, I actually um, don't really find the stage to be as peeving, of course. And of course, the interesting thing here is that, of course, it can sort of mess with Peach and Daisy's recovery. They have to be very, very mindful getting back to the ledge. They have to weave their recovery back slightly. That was fixed in the new update, but of course, we're not playing the new update. Nope, not here. Free for all. <laughs> Getting that back here, player four. Fortunately, with that whiff, taking a good amount of percent here from Baby Cakes that punished with the dash attack. And these two just wrapping back and forth. Big damage coming out from both sides. Very, very quickly, just exchanging these blows. 
trying to clip him with the turn up, but great job on mixing up the recovery from Baby Cakes using the platform to his advantage. Once again, forcing DK off stage, unable to really capitalize on the edge guard once again. Yeah, player four unfortunately getting hit out of that edge guard. You see that a lot coming from Sam Sora, floating by the ledge to try to capitalize off of. Ooh, we got a Mr. Saturn coming out though. Oh, he's uh, his R oh, and his shield is gone. The top. Oh, but he oh, slipped no, off the ledge. He slipped off the ledge. He pushed him off the ledge and then got rid of the shield break. Fear him. My goodness, the dot eyes is here. He's still got the advantage. I'm absolutely astonished right now. Baby cakes clinging onto dear life with his three stocks almost at 200 percent. Tries to go for the back air, but putting him in a pretty bad position here as uh, player four does maintain stage control. One thing I was actually going to say is that we haven't seen too much dash attack coming out from player four with the way that he's kind of yes. holding this mid range. You think that he'd kind of scare, um, well, he, he kind of prevent that option from coming into Baby Cake's mind essentially, but player four immediately answering back with the forward air getting that stock. Yeah, now in this game, I believe both hits hit a lot more consistently compared to what we were seeing um, in the Smash 4 iteration of Peach. Yes. Um, so a lot of people did fall out of the second hit of the dash attack, but in this game, second hit actually um, actually lands more consistently. And oh my, the Peach Bomber wow. into down smash on the platform. Option coverage right here as uh, Baby Cakes was unable to punish the Daisy Bomber. Although one thing to keep in mind is that this stage, of course, is Lila and does have slopes. Uh, that dash attack from Peach and Daisy is a bit more unreliable with slopes in the mix. Mm -hmm. See that empty hop into grab. Oh, but he actually kept him in a little bit of a lock there, falling off the platform. Like this drift back coming from Player Four, and this is what we were noting on before. Player Four actually uh, taking advantage of the spacing in general, keeping more so mid range, uh, mid range uh, more than anything. Now, of course, this corner pressure coming out. Really, really scary situation with DK. Another turn it, just dodging the winky face. But again, these time is throwing them down over and over again. Turn up actually helping him get back into the stage there as it set him um, towards the stage. But Pat Fair definitely going to send him to the blast zone oh. instead. And we got a bomb at the ready. Player four, I want your RNG, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bomb dropping out of the hands. So far in the set, we've seen a stitch, Saturn, and a bomb. Everything coming out from player four. Yeah, Baby Cakes is just like, I ain't got nothing to lose here. Getting rid of that bomb situation. Diffusing it, if you may. Yes. And another another Mr. Saturn. I'm done. <laughs> That's the second right, one I, in I, this I, game. I, I, he taunts too. He taunts too, recognizing, all right, I got I got the RNG of, of S tier, S tier player. <laughs> oh, very nice challenge on that uh, headbutt right there. Using the Daisy Bomber to just interrupt it. Oh, oh my. Yes. Did I was, I guess he wasn't smashing fast enough. I just saw him walk slowly off the stage, but he was at high percent too at the same time. He was, yes. And all these good fade backs coming out from uh, player four. That was a really good side yeah. B. Yeah, using the super armor on purpose to uh, get rid of or ignore that turn of, rather, recovering from below the ledge. See player four taking out these turn ups, and I just feel like player four is taking out um, turn ups on purpose just to get from that wiki phase to uh, another plethora of amazing gear that Daisy could use. Finally able to punish that uh, Peach Bomber. Oh, the Daisy Bomber even now. Oh! oh that would have been a game changer right there. But Player 4 managing to recover up high and getting the fair, taking the set over Baby Cakes. Mm. And you know, of course, DK is one of those momentum-heavy characters. He can, of course, really steamroll forward once he gets that first hit and capitalize on that rage. But of course, player four, not letting that happen, clipping in with that fair and taking that 